Alright guys, how's it going? If you can hear this tick, 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 tick in the background, that's just the sound of my GPU dying. <laughs> now I would like to take a look at the new feature in Blender 2.9 and it's convert to a point cloud. Now I'll give you a very basic example of how it actually works. So we have the beautiful default cube here. If I go to object, convert, convert to point cloud. And you can see here what it does, it essentially converts each vert or point into point cloud data. Now what we can do here is we can kind of take it up a step a little bit. We can go to object, convert, and we can convert this to a mesh. So I essentially have eight points now. Now we can double check this out if we go to the particles, we'll add in an emitter. I'll drop the number of particles down to eight. I'll put the frame end to one because we only need it to work over one frame. I'll put the source to verts. And you can see here it doesn't quite work and the reason for this is the random order. So when I take this off, we're essentially generating a particle on each point. Now there's a kind of strange bug at the moment, I don't know if it's 2.9 or I don't know if it's maybe just user error. But I'll kind of walk you through it. So I'm going to add in something like a UV sphere. And I'm actually going to generate an instance on each of these points. So I'll select the points again, I'll come down to render, I'll change the render as object, and I'll select the UV sphere. It's kind of strange here, it's not generating on every single point But when I start playing around with the scale, you'll notice that it kind of brings everything back And you'll also notice that the rotation is going in the normals, but it's going in a completely strange direction Now, I can fix this if I hit object rotation So this probably is some sort of bug, it could be a user error, but we can kind of work around it So I've essentially generated an object in each of these points using point cloud data Hmm, this could be interesting what could we do with it? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly delete the cube. We'll delete the UV sphere. I'm going to quickly add in a plane. I'll tap into edit mode. I'll do a quick subdivision. We'll make it something like 10. Now I'm going to subdivide that again, but I'm going to be a little bit fancy here. And I'll go to repeat history and I'll just hit subdivide. Now you can see I'm getting this OpenGL error. Uh, it's kind of annoying to be honest. Okay, fine. I'll jump into object mode. I'll quickly jump into something like sculpting. We'll use something like the layer brush and we'll just do a couple of layers, just something like this. Nice and easy. We'll jump back into object mode, we'll select the object, we'll go to object, convert and we'll convert this to a point cloud. And you can see here, I'm now essentially getting every single point. I'm going to convert this, it'll convert to a mesh again. I'm going to bring back a cube. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move this over to the right. So how many particles do I really need to admit? Well, if I go to the statistics panel here and enable it, you can see here the vertices is 14,000, nearly 15. So let's add in a quick admitter. Let's drop this end frame down to 1. Let's say we need 15,000. Pretty much repeating the exact same process as the last time. I'll go to render, I'll change this to an object. I'll select the cube. Let's put the scale up. Let's change the emit from vertices. You can see here I'm getting that strange rotation bug again. Let's put the scale up a little bit and let's just click object rotation and we get this cool effect. And that's pretty much Point Cloud. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.